Hi, I'm Leo from mdtrails.com. Last time I came to you with a video, I showed you how to get a GPS track off of a Garmin GPS device, convert it into a KML format, so you could upload it to mdtrails.com. It's kind of complicated, but a Garmin GPS or a standard conventional kind of dedicated GPS device is really useful for long hikes because they can, they can run for like eight hours at a shot. And then with the Garmin, for example, you can even change the battery. So you can do ungodly long hikes and get a track and you'll be able to upload the whole thing to mdtrails.com. I do a lot of tra hikes that are more than two hours. And if I were to use a smartphone with a GPS device built in, the battery would be dead. However, many of you, myself included sometimes, do short hikes that are, that are like an hour and a half long or less. And these are exciting hikes too. And sometimes they're even the most fulfilling ones. And so I'm going to show you today how to use the, the GPS in an iPhone with a piece of software called Motion X that will let you record a track on your phone for these short hikes and then you'll be able to upload it to mdtrails.com. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. If you want to learn more about Motion X for the iPhone, you can, you can see it at motionx.com. And um, you just download it on your phone like you would any other app. So what I'll show you is Motion X on my phone is this little icon right here. Right there, if you can see that. It says GPS Motion X. And I'm going to touch it, and we're going to go into Motion X. Now, Motion X takes a moment to start up. And then once you get into it, this is the interface that you use to start and stop recording a track. I won't show you how to do that. Motion X, their website will do that for you. But I have a bunch of tracks here. And the one I did today is track number three. So I'm going to click on that. And this is the track. And Motion X makes it really easy to share the track. Share track now. I click that button. And now it gives me several options to share it. I'm just going to do simple email sharing. And I'm going to send it to myself in email. Share. And it says sharing track. And what it's doing right now is it's sending me a KMZ file to my email address. And it says track 003 sent. And it's kind of neat. Motion X actually records the track directly in a KML or KMZ format. So you don't have to convert it. You can just send it straight to MD Trails. So all I have to do now is check my email, download that track. And if Yahoo will respond, let's see, try that again, and boom, we've got our email. So I have an email here from no reply at motionx.com, and I click on that email, and it shows me that I have an attachment called track003.kmz. It's 96 kilobytes. I'm going to download that to my computer, and it is in my list of downloads. Oops, didn't need to close that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mdtrails.com. I'm already logged in, and I'm going to click Add a Trail. You'll notice this time I don't have to convert it to KML or KMZ because it's already in that format. So I just click Choose a File, and then I get the dialog to choose which file I want to upload. So I'm going to go to my Downloads directory on my computer, and I have one thing there. I have track003.kmz. That's the one I just shared with myself from Motion X on my iPhone. And I choose that file. And now, to add a trail on MD Trails, you need to give it a title and a description. Um, we'll save the description for later, but we'll give it a title now so we don't lose track of it. I will call it new, I will call it um, gazebo overlook trail New Germany State Park and I'll say for the description coming soon so we can do that later and I click send track now it'll take a moment to upload that track to MD trails and once it's there you see 
the, um, the topographic map of New Germany State Park and you see the start and stop points. I'm going to switch from terrain to the map overview so I can zoom in and you can actually see the path that I took here. It's a really short hike but a very beautiful spot. So you can see I started in the parking area and I hiked up and the gazebo overlooks here. There are some really pretty um, very short cliffs here and I'll share pictures on this very same track later. You can see this if you go to mdtrails.com you'll see it there in um, recent trails. So thank you very much for, um, for listening and try MotionX for your iPhone at motionx.com if you want to learn more about it. I think it's a $4 app and it works great for recording tracks and it'll, your iPhone battery will last for at least an hour and a half, two hour hike. Um, give it a shot and then upload your tracks to mdtrails.com. Thank you.